Ebola virus disease After the H1N1 influenza that is swine flu in 2009 and polio in May 2014 the World Health Organization has now declared the Ebola outbreak in West Africa as an extraordinary event and a public health risk to other countries It has also highlighted that the consequences of its spread across the world could be particularly serious considering the virulence of the virus After the first outbreak in December 2013 In Guinea's remote southeastern forest region, the virus has spread to three other West African countries like Liberia, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone. In August 2014, nearly 1800 people were infected and the mortality figure was nearly 1000. The death toll this time is much more than the combined count of all previous Ebola epidemics. The biggest virus threat with fatality rates going up to 90% The Zaire virus species is usually restricted to Central Africa. The incubation period, that is the time interval from infection to onset of symptoms of 2 to 21 days, poses a real danger to public health. In this era of global travel, though infected people would not transmit the virus till they develop the disease, they could facilitate virus spread once symptoms show up. Despite the deadly characteristics of the virus, Transmission occurs only when people come into contact with the body fluids of affected people. There is no scientific confirmation of humans getting infected through airborne transmissions. Yet, transmission has been rampant both in the community and in healthcare settings. Poor handling practices and weak healthcare systems are putting doctors and health workers at great risks. Currently, no approved drugs or vaccines are available to prevent infections or treat infected people. The most alarming thing is that there is no established or well proven drug for treating this virus but an experimental drug is being tested only in animals The infected people act as carriers of the virus one way to prevent the spread is to stop symptomatic passengers from traveling in normal passenger aircraft and to screen and follow up those arriving from these countries India has its task cut out as nearly 5000 Indians who live in Guinea Liberia and Sierra Leone and about 40,000 in Nigeria may return here.